Hey guys, as you can see, I'm working on the fuel tank supply line. Uh, Mark had it coming straight up through the bed, something like that. I didn't like it because you couldn't fuel it up without lowering the tailgate. If you had anything in the truck, you couldn't get fuel in it. So I got a piece of tubing that I'm going to run out sideways. That'll be connected here. I'm just going to tack a little bit there. That was a anxiety drilling a hole in the side of the bed, but it had to be done. It made it a little bit bigger. It's something to make sure I have some drop, but also I'm going to put a, a piece of rubber around the metal so it's not metal on metal. And then come around here. I got this big fender here. Enough room in there for probably Logan to fit in. And I'm going to see if I can turn this around. So you can kind of see where that pokes out at. And then I'm going to 90 it up. So it'll kind of follow the fender up. It's in the fender well, but man, there's so much room in there. And that's why I'm running a steel pipe, so I think it'll be all right. Um, so you'll be gassing up right here. I've got this gas lid. It's only plastic. I think it's made for a boat. If you push the bottom, it's a little hard to push when it's not mounted. And then it opens, and that's the gas cap and the lid, kind of in one. And it, it's a universal size. This is a two-inch hole that I have to drill to mount it, which is actually smaller than this one than any other one I looked at. So no matter what, if I end up not liking this, the hole I'll drill, I'll be able to put something else in it. They make some hot rod metal ones and a lot of different things, but I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money up front if this isn't going to work. And if it works, then I can always upgrade my cap and fuel neck. I think that's what it's called. So just my progress today. More to come.